What's going on, Flight Sim crew? This is your pilot in command, Ryan, and uh, I was shocked to discover a new addition to the Microsoft Flight Simulator market. Uh, they have they have uh, built the Concorde, the legendary supersonic passenger aircraft, um, and uh, I will say. Uh, Right out of the gate, I uh, would not think that I was gonna gonna get this for myself, but uh, its reviews are very highly reviewed um, by the community and Microsoft Flight Simulator. And taking a look here, I am very impressed with uh, the detail. As you can see, uh, this cockpit is true to the Concorde with more gauges and buttons than I would know what to do with. Uh, it even has, you know, the, you have, you know, your co-pilot obviously, but then the engineering um, seat there. He would be in charge of uh, balancing the fuel, um, the fuel load and the fuel tanks, and making sure that the center of gravity is where it needs to be during takeoff and then cruise and then preparing the aircraft for uh, supersonic flight. Uh, Obviously, I've, <laughs> I'm not qualified to uh, fly this aircraft <laughs> in the least bit, and there are not many people out there who can claim to have that qualification. So, let's just see how this goes, right? <laughs> uh, as you can see there, it is has an amazing range. Um, it, it is a, a phenomenal uh, a feat of modern engineering. Um, there are a couple of videos that I'm going to link in the description below. So uh, Mentor Pilot did a great video on what caused the, uh, the crash of the Concorde and um, a very tragic um, circumstance. And um, it, many people believe that, that that crash is kind of what eventually led to the downfall of the Concorde. However, there are rumors that this type of, of aircraft, a uh, you know, supersonic passenger aircraft, may be in the works again here soon. Uh, rumors are that Boeing is working on one. So we may see uh, a return of supersonic passenger aircraft. Um, a, another video that I've got down in, a link in the description below is by Real Engineering, who does a great job talking about the, uh, the ins and outs of this phenomenal phenomenal machine here and as you can see here i'm just looking over all the different gauges oh, there's more buttons and knobs and switches than uh, uh you can shake a stick at <laughs> and um uh i've got a co-pilot that's that's gonna come in handy because uh i'm not gonna fly this thing i'm gonna let the uh co-pilot uh, uh fly this one i, I will be uh, pilot monitoring uh, as we do a quick test flight of this here today. I hope you all will stick around and enjoy watching the uh, the Concorde in action. I'm taking off from uh, ILM's runway, which is barely enough to get the Concorde up. The Concorde's runway requirement is 11,800 uh, feet. So that is a pretty, pretty long runway and uh, obviously only few airports boast such a long runway. The aircraft does have the capability of, of having afterburners, uh, which um, helps it to, to take off as quickly as possible. Uh, it also has reverse thrusters um, on the, uh, the motors. Their motors are designed by Rolls-Royce, and um, they, they're just <laughs> just amazing. Um, like I said, t check out Real, Real Engineering's video on the ins and outs of the technology behind this because this truly is a, a, a masterpiece of modern engineering. Anyhow, here we are on our takeoff roll. I'm letting the co-pilot uh, do everything here, so I'll be monitoring and hopefully giving you guys some uh, interesting visuals of uh, what we what we can do. All right, so we've hit rotation. Woo! All right, just barely enough to get up, and thank goodness we cleared that. All right. So now we're going to go into our climb, and from 
I'm going to link also in the description. I It took me a while, but I did find the Concorde's uh, operating handbook. So the every aircraft has a what's called the, the pilot's operating handbook. It is what all pilots, it's required in the airplane uh, at all times, and it's what every pilot should know backwards, forwards, and inside out for any aircraft that they're flying because it goes over every technical detail and also it includes um, contingencies if, you know, if there's a failure um, of any sort, how to um, deal with that failure uh, in a way that will allow the plane to land safely. So as you can see here, we're climbing out, turning away from, uh, from Wilmington and I set as the destination Chicago O'Hare, just the first thing that popped into my mind. Wilmington um, used to have a a direct flight from ILM to Chicago O'Hare, so it seemed logical. And I was interested to see, you know, how it would do. I'm not going to make you guys watch that entire flight. I'm going to just jump right to the approach here in just a moment, so you can see it land. All right, so now we're on final. And as we come in for a landing, I did not achieve supersonic speeds. Um, I, there's probably an altitude requirement. I have to probably get up to a certain altitude before um, I would be allowed to go supersonic, but uh, I do plan on doing that at some point in the future. And we'll just have a nice controlled approach here. So this, this quick video here is just to demonstrate this new addition to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed this. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, let's get these wheels down and then we'll call it a day.